know what I'm saying? There we go. All right. One more. Oh, yeah, we good, we good. All right, Shalom, Shalom. And we're the brothers of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you another lesson in truth. Got the brother, my, um, my, 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 my right-hand man here, Brother Asha, and this is this is your brother Malcolm. And first and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakak Badash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers that are doing this work in tooth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. All right, the 144,000 and the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth among the heathen that look like the heathen. This is not a black thing, all right? And to the few aquaf that are listening and learning to you, we say shalom. shalom. And um, as a matter of fact, let's open with Mark uh, 3 and, and uh, start about 23, read through 25. Mark 3, I say start at 23. Mark 3, 23. Uh, and he called them, Salaki, and he called them unto him and said unto them in the parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. That kingdom cannot stand. So this movie opens, all right? And now I'm going to try not to do a spoiler, you know, uh, for those who haven't seen it yet. The movie just came out. I actually had planned to go see it tomorrow in the spirit. Uh, you know, put it on me to call his brother up and he was down and we rolled out when we saw it, you know, and um, but nevertheless, this I, I'm going to try to, you know, give you the breakdown, give you the skinny without ruining the movie for people who haven't seen it. All right. But I'll tell you this, though, it's beyond obvious after you see it, that it's, it's just like I've been calling it for years talking about this thing. The military, half the military is going to go against the government. All right. And they're going to, and, and so a lot, and I've been telling you that a lot of these people that are in the reserves are also in the police force. They're also in, you know, they're, in the, they're, they're reservists, they're policemen, they're firemen, they're sheriffs, and they're also a part of, of, uh, these militias. You don't need that light. You can turn that light out. Okay. Um, they're also a part of these, uh, 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 militias and, the military is actually going to split in half. And it was plain, plain to see that, all right? Because, you know, and, and it's funny, it kind of reminded me of Biden. As you're watching the movie, the president is talking big shit and telling lies, propaganda. Yep, yep. He's telling you how these guys are getting whooped. It's the same shit they're saying in Ukraine. Yeah, you know, exactly. Same shit. Now the Israelis are on the verge of, you know, losing to Hamas. The, <laughs> the, 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 the Ukraine has got their ass whooped by the Russians, but... For the last, you know, year year or so, you know, because that, that issue has been going on for over a year, they've been making it sound like the Russians are taking a beating over there. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're, they're making old people and civilians join the, the Ukraine army. Well, this is the same shit here. That's right. And, and, and so, you know, outside of the fact of the chaos of people fighting over neighborhoods and blocks and areas, you know, for looters and attacking and killing each other, all right, it was clear that from all the bombed out, depleted, military vehicles that the only only thing that's going to take down helicopters and military vehicles are other helicopters and military vehicles that's right and the scene and the, and the damn movie opens in new york with with mad crowds uh screaming and begging saying screaming how they want water that's right all right before they all get bombed <laughs> and so they, they you know so they have no problems killing civilians here okay so uh as a matter of fact get second Ezra six and, and 24 this is uh because they were saying, we want water, we want water. <laughs> right. And what they didn't show you was was what was obvious, all the rape that was going on, because it was a lot of dead bodies and a lot of dead women. All right? Yeah, this is 2nd Ezra 6 to 24. Uh, and at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. Matter of fact, started, uh, uh, hold on, let me see it. Uh, 22, started 22. Time, time. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's second Ezra 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, 
the full storehouses show suddenly be found empty. Yeah, so a lot of the stores as they were driving through, a lot of the neighborhoods were, were depleted and empty. It was no car. It was no people. It was plenty of cars on the roads, but no bodies in it. it. You know, people in them. It looked like a scene from The Walking Dead or from any other apocalyptic type uh, movies. That's right. Just cars sitting everywhere. Right. All right. And then most cars you saw sitting were full of bullet holes. That's right. So these citizens are getting ready to really go at each other, man. That's right. You thought they were fighting over COVID. <laughs> you know, they were ready to go to war with, you know, people not wearing masks. They were ready to shoot them. And people that will, you know, it, it was crazy. Yeah, it, sure, it certainly was. You so know, it, it's it's going to be way worse this time around. But continue. Uh, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth it, they shall suddenly be afraid. So I imagine, you know, we're going to hear those like those tornado sirens. You're going to hear them sirens going off, you know, or, or like that. uh, uh the, the, the purge sound. That's right. You know. You know, and I, and I tell a story about it, maybe about a, a year and a half ago, I was in a Sam's Club and uh, that damn purge, purge uh, siren sounded over the intercom in the, in the Sam's Club and freaked everybody the fuck out. <laughs> right. You know, because he's like, what the hell? <laughs> right. Because by that point, you know, most people had seen the purge, at least one of them. Right. All right. Which is another series to watch. If you've never seen seen them, you you need to watch those. All right. Well, go ahead. <laughs> At that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies? Like the guy said, what kind of American? <laughs> exactly. You know, and all them dead bodies. And, and and those people that were dead, a lot of, they were unarmed. There was a lot of women lying in there too, man. That's right, yeah. So you're going to have people that are going to be killing, you know, uh, people is going to be really racist. That's right. Because there was some really, some people got killed just because of their race. That's right. So, it's, it, it, you know. <laughs> you think it's one country. What, what but kind of American are you? <laughs> You're right, exactly. You know. <laughs> uh, you, you think this, this place is far from united. <laughs> right. This should be called the divided states right about now <laughs> because America has never been more divided than it is now. And when, like you said, when those victuals get low, it's going to get worse. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like we're reading here. Like, you know, <laughs> my favorite Mariano's is, 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 is about a block from here. All right. That place is going to be depleted because right. everybody in this neighborhood, because you got we're in uh, West Lincoln Park on this side and across across Ashland is, is Bucktown. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that that Mariano's, you know, is going to be empty. That's right. When all these people go there at one time. That's right. right? Because you what you got, you got you, so West Lincoln Park, then you got uh Bucktown, and then south of there is Wicker Park. Then you got the hood. You got uh, Humble Park right over there. That's right. All the, you know, it's a lot, a lot of Northern Kingdom over there. The rough air and Humble Park been wild as hell as lately too. Exactly. And people, they, they you know, they itching to get it, at, get at people. You know what I mean? They can't wait for the lawlessness. Hell, just down the street, you there used to be a, uh, 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 you know, uh, Northern Kingdom projects right there. Right. That they they shut down. You know, and and because they put the wall up, so when you drive past it, you can't see it. Right. Like it's not there. And and then guess what? It's a whole bunch of hum homeless people living under these bridges. Right. So them homeless people gonna come from under these bridges and they and they now and they're gonna go to these stores and they're gonna go to all these million dollar houses and mansions that are nearby too. Right. Right, but go ahead. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Oh yeah. So there's gonna be no water, man. All right, and without water, you could go without. You know, it's uncomfortable being hungry, but you can live without food literally for you know for for thirty days or more. All right, you you can't go more than three days without water because your organs will begin to shut down. Your brain won't function correctly. You you need water for just, you know for your blood flow for everything. Right, right. All right, just to wash the uh, uh, impurities out of you. Yeah. Okay. So you you're definitely not gonna live without water. Right. Okay, so and 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 then what was the other element in the movie that you that you saw? You that the that there was a young girl there in the movie and she was completely out of fucking order. All right, you know, um, and a lot of people died as a result of her. You know, that whole you know jumping right. in that other vehicle, <laughs> right? Exactly. You know, and and then she drew everybody away from from the mission at hand. Yep. Women, and, and so we you know you've often heard brother say that man. Women are going to be a liability. Yep, yep. They really are. You know, you, you trying to worry about your wife and your daughter, your girlfriend, and um, 
and they're gonna that's gonna be a weakness because people are going to target them and in some cases they'll target them just to draw you out exactly all right right so if the lord is not with you if the lord is not with them because just the lord is just because the lord is with you don't mean the lord is with your woman right because hey, hey, let's just be honest you know a lot of these brothers are getting grief from their women their wives all right or, or their wives just aren't really being wives to them and the Lord, the Lord is gonna gonna get rid of a lot of your wives and give you new women. That's right. All right. We'll grab you know, this one. bring bring it out. You this got some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it, a man. Job thirty nine because he's talking about this woman being a cru critical role in the movie. We're not gonna spoil the movie, but we just want to bring out the fact this prophesizes Job thirty nine seventeen because the Most High is deprived of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding, and it's gonna be more prevalent in these days to come. They're going to get emotionally up, uptight and they're going to try to operate based off emotions as a logic. And that's what we were seeing in the movie. They, you know what I mean? Because they have this freedom, it's free doom. They, you know what I mean? And they're going to cause a lot of casualties and calamities Oh yeah. for those who are following them. You know what I mean? The, the scriptures clearly say that the Lord is only dealing with the men. All that panic and freezing. Right. Exactly. Or not moving when you need to move. Right, yeah. Or move or moving when you should be still. Exactly. Then, yeah, it's going to be a lot of people that's going to die because of, uh, because of women. Women are going to be a major liability when this thing goes down. So it's not. It's so you know, like I said, unless the Lord is with you, you know, you know these men that got lots of daughters, you know, right. or lots of women, you know, they their sisters or their aunts. There's a lot of women that live among them or near them. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of you going to die. And not only that, when there's a, a gathering of women the 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 sex hungry uh power hungry because there's no more law men they're gonna know the places where where these women are they're gonna know well you know there's a lot of women on that block well, there's a lot of women in this housing that's complex right. yeah, they, they, and these apartment buildings so oh, i know it's a lot of women living in that house yeah all right and so after they've gotten you know gotten their liquid courage right and they're well armed you right. know, it's like, hey, you know what? We need some entertainment. Let's go to the, hey, let's go kick in that door and get some of them girls out of there. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, it's it's just going to get real bad out here, man. And, 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 and this movie, this, I'm ready to see it again. It was that good. Just so I can really, because I was so busy watching it with the intent on trying to, you know, see what I could use for a lesson. I couldn't even enjoy the movie like I wanted to. Right. Because I was really trying to pay attention you know, and then they call it the Western Forces, which looks so much like WEF, <laughs> WF. So there's a lot of subliminals, you know, in there. Right. A lot of subliminals. And it just went and they also were letting you know that what you cannot trust what you see in the media, because the president kept broadcasting as if as, as if the one side, his side was winning. And it was the complete opposite, <laughs> right. you know. Just like I just watched that video where, you know, where uh, Benjamin Netton, uh, not a J-double-O, and, and some of his uh, uh, military commanders were, were coming on television talking about uh, all these babies that were being put to death and dying as, it, as, in it, as the event that took place on October 7th. But then after the thorough investigation, was, uh, it was proven that that was all a fabrication. Only two babies died, and neither one of them from the attack on, you know, they bought one died from a C-section and I forget how the other one died. And and this was a list of the dead. So right. he said, so all these other supposedly children that were raped and burned and all, that was all a lie. It was all propaganda to get people on their side. This president was doing the same thing in this movie. Right. All right. Yeah, I got one right quickly. So in this movie, yeah, like he was just saying, this is Job 13 and 4. That's the spirit I was just about to call for it. <laughs> but ye are forged of lies, ye are physicians of no value. Yeah, you can't believe these people. You can go to Deuteronomy 33 and 20, 29. <laughs> yeah. And I and, and Yahweh is my witness. That scripture with me is coming out, you know, almost every almost every lesson. Right. All right. And it's absolutely because you know this, this movie is is you know, the scriptures is prophesized that it's gonna be Egyptian against the Egyptian. This is going to happen. So there's no way for it not to happen. But this is Deuteronomy 33 and 29. It says, Happy art thou, Israel, who is like unto thee, O people saved by Yahweh, thy shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency? And thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. Exactly, man. <laughs> and 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 when you can when you can prove that Esau is lying at the highest level. Governments, government, world leaders, you know, right. Benjamin Netanyahu, your president. All right. 
uh, uh, when you when you can show the receipts, not just you saying it because right. you feel in some kind of way, but when you produce the evidence that they're, that's very that's treading on their high places. Man. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's like, look, this man can't be trusted. This man is a liar. All right. <laughs> right. And guess what? And it's funny, too, because not only is America on the verge of civil war, but it looks like the way things are going. It's also the same thing in the land of Israel. They cannot be the people because they're protesting hard. Over there in in um in in, in 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 the land of Israel right now, which is another reason why I believe that the October thing uh went down in the first place was to try to get them back in order, get right. them focused on something else. Right. Right. And 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 Benjamin uh Netanyahu, he needs this war to keep going because if this war stops, then they then they're gonna bring him right back in court and focus on his trial. That's right. Right, because he's in he's in trouble for, for war crimes and crimes against humanity and all. All sorts of other things. And his own people are trying to oust him. But as right. long as this war is going on, he's calling the shots. Exactly. All right. So it be, it will behoove him personally to keep this thing going. And right. so and in the way it's going, it looks like it could be a civil, you know, uh, division over there as well. Because a lot of the Israelis are not with their government. Right. You know, they can see through. They, they, they see through the lies the same as we see through them over here. Right. And I guess that's just a Western thing in general. Get that uh, Isaiah, whatever you got, and then get Isaiah 19 and 2. Yeah, I, 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 that's the spirit. I had 19 and 2 queued up. It's Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Yeah. And yeah. that's exactly so that, you know, there were roadblocks. You couldn't go into certain neighborhoods. Yeah, the, the, the looters being hung up. All right. right. You know, uh, trying to charge ridiculous high rate robbery. What do you say? Uh, Three hundred dollars for for a tank of gas. Right. All right. Crazy. And shit like that. You know, it was there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Posing with dead bodies. You right. know, and a lot of these. And, and, and then not only that, you also had that proud, independent, uh, you know, uh, ninja woman. Exactly. You know. Uh, on both sides, trying to uphold and fight for Esau Edom. <laughs> right. Okay. It's, it's like what both of you, you know, the opposing. The, matter of fact, I think it was a ninja woman that shot the other ninja woman. Exactly. Oh, All yeah, right. Yeah. So <laughs> this, <laughs> this, I mean, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. You know, you know, Eve down for for she gonna she gonna she gonna uh, she gonna die with Esau, man. <laughs> right. She gonna yeah. stand with him until she can't stand with him no more. Right. And the thing is, is that Esau gonna dis is is gonna to discard her. Right. right. Just like many of them are finding out that fe feminism has lied to them. Exactly. You go. <laughs> all right. I got one right quick. This is second Ezra fifteen. I'm gonna start at fourteen. Kind. Okay. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands." For there should be sedition among men and evading one another. And that's exactly what you saw. <laughs> right, exactly. Sedition among men. As a matter of fact, hold that. We're going to go back to that. Okay. Go to, to uh, 2nd Edges 9 and 1. Read up to verse uh, 5 or 6 and then go back to that. Okay. This is 2nd uh, Edges 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And he's definitely doing that. And, you know, and this is a, and Esau knows that this, this, this civil war is coming. He's also trying to jump out in front of it. We've been saying it for so long. Right. And so they keep putting stuff in these movies. And then you saw how quickly so many things from the, from the, uh, leave the world behind came to pass. That's right. You know, the, the very, how the, the reality mimicked that. Right. And, and so that they're, they're trying to, you know, uh, put these self-proclaimed prophecies out so when they come to pass, that's how magic works. That's how black magic, left-hand side magic works. Right. Right. You have to say, you know, the the, the magician says, uh, look into my hand, look at my, you know. <laughs> right. And he, he have to tell you what he's going to do before they do it. That's how it works. That's right. And so at this, I mean, look what they've been doing with the Simpsons for the last like 20 something years. <laughs> exactly. You know, projecting. These, these are projections of what they intend to do. And everybody's seeing, you know, and it's funny too how it's it's been made turned into a conspiracy by how dead on that damn uh, that Illuminati card game. 
<laughs> how damn near every card has come to pass and hit dead on exactly. <laughs> and then you, and it's amazing to me how people will scoff that. You can't have, you know, a deck of cards, 20 some cards and everything on the fucking card happens just like it's written on the card. And then you just think that that's just some co coincidence, just some weird coincidence. <laughs> right, right. Looking ass. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, the, the second answer, nine and three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and we just witnessed all those earthquakes happening, you know what I mean? All across the globe. Mm -hmm. And there's uproars of, of the people. You got builders in Taiwan, you know, sitting on angles and shit. <laughs> right, right. And look at all the people that have invaded America, you know what I mean? Across the borders. They demanding their American rights, and they just walked into America. Yeah. This shit crazy. <laughs> And a lot of them, a lot of them are, are, are soldiers who are going to be fighting against, uh, you know, Americans. And all, a lot of them are also enemy combatants who are going to be creating problems for, for Americans. So the chaos is set up. That's right. Uh, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before the even from the beginning. So this is all orchestrated by Yahweh Bashim al Shai. This is his show. And we're witnessing the fall of Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, right here in front of our eyes, which is beautiful. You know what I mean? To be alive in this time, to witness this, uh, you know, it's, man, it's unbelievable. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and the end, and the end is, is manifest. Yeah. <laughs> and it's beautiful. And we know it's the end of Esau Edom and the beginning of Jacob, that is which to follow. So that's the beautiful thing about this. So... Even so, the times also of the highest had plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that should be saved and should be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be, you know, and this is only the elect. The only the elect is going to be saved. Nobody else is going to be saved out of this. Only the elect of Israel is going to make it through Jacob's trouble, the MOTB, and all the things that's going on, but you know, and, and this civil war is a prelude to all of that. Right, and there was a lot of dead Israelites with these Americans. That's right. They were dying right along with, with their fellow Americans. That's a lot right. of dead Israelites, men and women. All right, the Lord, the Lord, and look, it's, it's written in the scriptures in, in, in the book of Zechariah. That matter of fact, go ahead and get that too, brother Baba Kashai. All right, Zechariah uh, thirteen. Yeah, one, thirteen. Like seven yeah, through nine. Yeah, this is a uh, Zechariah. 13. Yeah, these are two thirds. You know, they got it coming. <laughs> and they deserve it, especially right. the scoffers. I had some scoffer that kept getting on. Uh, so what happened, you know, after the after the 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 eclipse? Oh, so where's all this chaos? And I'm like, damn, really, nigga? Right. You you, you know, <laughs> not very many people, you know, got the got the a certain injection and died right away. A few did, but most of them started, you know, dying and getting sick. Months and, and, and you know, and years after, right? Right, all right. <laughs> they didn't just take it and just drop. It was a few, but right. not many. But go ahead. This is Zachariah. I'm gonna start at uh, seven, it's 13 and seven. It says, Awake, O my sword, against my shepherd and against the man that's my fellow, said the of host. Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn my hand upon the little ones. Yeah, all right, go ahead. And it shall come to pass that in the land, said Yahweh. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third part shall be left therein. That's right. And that third part is the elect. It's all about the elect, not all of Israel, like these people that are going to Africa and all these other places. Oh, this is right? It, it said that right, the prophecies is, is, is going to the the is going to take mainly here in the West, man. It said in the uttermost part of the earth. Okay? Right. All right, it, it, in the uttermost part of, and then it's, and then that's referring to Babylon. That's where the majority of the, 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 uh, the elect are going to be. Of course, the elect are going to be around the four corners of the globe. All right, but the majority of the judgment, versus, versus if you are one third or the two third, the majority of that is going to take place here in America. And and we will, and then it was also said, you know, in the prophecy that they would prophesy in Babylon. <laughs> Babylon is the uttermost part of the earth, the furthest place west from the coming from the east. That's right. But this is uh, 1 Peter 4 and 17. And for that time has come that the judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first began at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? So at verse 18, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So if the righteous are barely making it by 
the skin of their teeth. Right. All right. Then, then there's no room for the rest of you. That's right. All right, but you can go back to that second Ezra's and we can get ready to wrap it up. All right, this is uh back in the second Ezra's. You can start at 14 again, Baba Kasha. Yeah, second Ezra's uh 15, 14. It says, uh, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. You know, in the world, you know, they, the Esau's world, <laughs> woe to them, and the two thirds is joined unto them. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. And the swords of guns. And so in some cases, literal guns. I mean, literal knives and, and, and swords. All right, go ahead. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. And, and the course of their actions shall stand in, the, in their power. And that's what, you know, it's pretty much what's going to happen. You know what I mean? The, the lawlessness, the chaos, all that is a part of their, their, their programming. And that's why they're putting all these movies out. So you can see the end is it's right here. It says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's right. Right. And, then, and you <laughs> saw that, you know, you saw the checkpoints. Right. You had to show your credentials and who you were. Or in some cases, the checkpoint was you received gunfire on your windshield. <laughs> you <laughs> knew then, okay, I need to back up because, uh, exactly. <laughs> but go right. ahead. Uh, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So it's going to get to the point where if you don't know them, shoot them. Exactly. All right, because they might shoot us first. <laughs> right. That fear is going to be prevalent, heavy. You know what and I mean? And some people are fighting and didn't even know, like the, the, the you know, we'll tell you this one part, but I'll tell you like the sniper battle. <laughs> right. Exactly. And my man said, are you retarded? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? Fuck you, dude. You're not he's paying like, attention. Why? He's, he's like, shit, there. He's, he, then he asked the one girl, you know, he's, he's like, you know, what's going on? Uh, people are trying to shoot us. He said, exactly. <laughs> and what are we trying to do? Uh, you're, you're trying to shoot them? Exactly. <laughs> it, it don't matter what fucking side you on at this point. Exactly. All right? Is right. <laughs> Stupid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with sword and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for great tribulation. Man, the doors that are going to be kicked in and the windows that are going to be climbed through. All right. And like we always tell you, there's a lot of freaks and weirdos in the world, man. So you got people doing shit with animals. I just saw a story about a couple that was arrested. For, you know, the couple, two, two, two Edomites, of course. But, you know, Jake doing wicked shit like that too exactly. these days. <laughs> but it was two Edomites that got arrested for, you know, abusing animals and shit. So, so it's like, damn, you're going to kick in my window. You're going to rape. You going you going to rape the man, the woman, and the dog, and the damn dog, man. Shit, just because you know you got you got them 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 jail them jail creeps, you know the Jake them Jake jail freaks and them Edomite jail freaks who just like Bucci, <laughs> right? You know, it's just wicked, sick people, <laughs> and, and, and there's no cure for. Them. You know how that booty warrior say? Bo Bo Bucci was more <laughs> important than food or water. Food and water, God damn it! This shit, and this is what y'all gonna be dealing with. You know what I mean? We're not making any light of it. <laughs> this dude put the dirty magazine on your back <laughs> right. and flip the pages. Exactly. <laughs> this yeah, every is... time you flip a page, he got some new Bucci. <laughs> Precisely. It's going to get bad out here, man. Yes. I mean, you know, we're making jokes about it, but, you know, sometimes we got to laugh to keep from crying because we, you know, we're hurting. We're sick of this place. We're sick of it. You know what I mean? And this is all signs of, like you said earlier, measure the times. We are in those times, the beginning of Jacob's trouble. That's right. Yeah. And, and and so they they showing you, you know, what they plan to do. And, you know, and it, and it does look like all these things will happen sometime this spring, this summer. And I actually hope it does. We're praying it right? does. So with that, we're going to give all all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekach, Wadash, Kwam Yasharala, Shalom. Kwam Yasharala, Shalom.